Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's session on poetry. Today, we will talk about all the major authors' works that are necessary for poetry. Are you ready, guys? I hope you studied drama. I hope you studied the questions that I gave you. And uh, I hope you are ready for today's poetry session. I have a PowerPoint with a lot of important authors, but it won't be boring because I will give you in the form of questions. But it is not the usual kind of questions. These are fun questions. Let us start with British poetry. What is the earliest poem in English that you can think of? What is the earliest poem in English that you can think of? Tell me. In Old English, perhaps, oldest poem is Cademan's hymn. Cademan was the father of uh, Old English poetry, remember? Cademan's hymn. And then, after Cademan's hymn, there is the oldest text and epic, of course, it is Beowulf. These days, Beowulf is being prescribed in universities. So the summary of Beowulf, etc., can be asked. And you also know that Shemazini translated it, etc. It is one of the oldest poems of heroic tradition. So if they ask a textual question, don't be surprised. Who are the ancient English writers you know? Set exams are coming up. Follow this uh, PPT or uh, this uh, you know structure that I'm giving you. This is like a study plan. You look at all these authors' works in detail. Okay, many people passed Maharashtra set, and they have been texting me congratulations to all of them. All of you are also going to pass. Who are the ancient English writers that you know? I don't mean the old English writers in the modern English period. No, old English first. Let us talk about old English first. Cademan, Sign Wolf or Kine Wolf, yeah. Venerable Beard is not a poet. What about medieval poets? Ah, medieval poets are there in the medieval period. They are Pearl Poet. We don't know his name. He is the author of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight and Pearl. Pearl, Purity, Patience. Three important poems are there in the medieval period. These are all important these days because they will ask these poems. And then Laemon who wrote Brut. Remember Laemon's Brut? And of course, Chaucer and his contemporaries. Who are the contemporaries of Chaucer? Chaucer's poems, everybody knows. Everybody knows contemporaries of Chaucer also. Wycliffe, Langlands. And guys, there were 15th century Chaucerians. Remember, during Chaucer's time, East Midland dialect was there, isn't it? Before that, Anglo-Norman language was there. Anglo-Norman language. Chaucer started uh, modern English. Okay, I will go on to the more recent ones. I'm just oh, giving an overview. The detailed questions come from Chaucer. Who are the Renaissance poets before Shakespeare? Renaissance poets or Elizabethan poets before Shakespeare. Before Shakespeare, there were poets like John Skeleton. What did John Skeleton write? Skeletonic verse. Skeletonic verse, very rugged verse, which later inspired John Donne. Wyatt and Surrey. Wyatt introduced Petrarchan sonnets. Surrey introduced blank verse. They wrote poetry in total miscellany. And actually, Sidney was there, Spencer was there before Shakespeare. Sidney's Astrophel and Stella, Spencer's Amority, Fairy Queen. Okay, Fairy Queen came in the time of Shakespeare, but uh, Spencer was older than Shakespeare. Hannah? Yes. And then what are the genres most popular in the Elizabethan period? Of course, sonnets are there. Don't say. Uh, uh, tra tragedy because that is that is drama poetic plays okay what other genres are there pastoral poetry yes 
pastoral poetry then epics were there but not big epics epilions venus and adonis by shakespeare is an epilion also lyrical poetry in general sonnet is a lyric courtly poetry courtly chivalric poetry courtly poetry dramatic poetry that means all the plays of shakespeare are in verse only and also songs remember totals misleni was first called songs and sonnets so songs were very popular at that time songs many poems were um, sung isn't it yeah so during this time there are there will be minute details they will ask you should read in if you do not have a lot of extra material it's okay read in internet starting from wikipedia you should read encyclopedias on in the internet otherwise you can uh, study books history of english books please start studying the next net exam is coming up don't wait till the end you have to start studying now all this you should study in detail make notes all right in wikipedia there are lo long lots of lists are there names are there all those people you should look up if possible at least the familiar names okay who is the most important caroline poet what do you mean by caroline caroline means in the time of charles the first in the time of charles the first that is just before the civil war who is the most important poet it is john milton john milton wrote all his major poems after the restu uh, restoration paradise lost paradise regained samson agonistus but even before the restoration milton was writing what are milton's works before the restoration you know lallegro il penseroso comus comus is a mask yes and lots of religious and secular poems are there milton's milton wrote prose also milton wrote in latin as well as english poetry milton's first latin poem is elegia prima milton's last latin poem is epitaphium demonis epitaphium demonis milton's poems are important paradise lost will be asked paradise regained textual details are important which group of 17th century poets used the paradox a lot which group of 17th century poets used the paradox 17th century poets who used the paradox it is not a difficult question answer it is the metaphysical poets the metaphysical poets used paradox irony and uh, opposites who are the metaphysical poets very very important you will be uh, required to know that also <clears throat> now please also uh, research even though you know all the major metaphysicals like abraham cowley andrew marvel george herbert henry vaughan uh, then who are the others there is uh, richard crashaw of course all of them were influenced by john dun the cavalier poets were also there at this time all influenced by ben jonson even though you know all these names that is not sufficient they might ask you some of the poems of these writers don't fail to answer when they ask you have to study in detail how did a lot of people pass maharashtra set because they studied you will also pass every exam then remember you should also study anthologies names of anthologies in english names of dictionaries in english names of grammar books in english encyclopedias in english all that you should know remember to study which writers wrote the most famous poetic satires in english they are satires are the uh, written by the poets of the augustan period the neo classical writers who are they the neo classical writers yes dryden and pope and also samuel butler which is samuel butler's verse satire poetic satire everybody knows it is hudibras which is dryden's poetic satire dryden satires 
there are famously Absalom and Achitophel, Medel, Macflecno, also Religio Lechi, the Hind and the Panther. Religio Lechi, the Hind and the Panther. Right? And which are the satires of Pope, poetic satires of Pope? The poetic satires of Pope, famously, uh, essay in criticism, then danced, moral essays, essay on man. There were other poets during this time, like uh, Jonathan Swift was there, Dr. Johnson was there. They also wrote poetic satires. Dr. Johnson's London and Vanity of Human Wishes. They are also poetic satires. Right. And then uh, next question. Can you name some women poets of the 18th century? Can you name some women poets of the 18th century? Tell me in the chat box. As you know, women poets are a marginal group in the 18th century. The main 18th century poets are all the male poets. But we should know the women also. They are also very important. Afra Ben wrote poetry. Now, as you all know, Afra Ben uh, wrote novels like Uru no Ko, and she also wrote uh, essays. She also wrote plays, drama. She also wrote poetry. Afra Ben, Eliza Haywood, and Della Riviere Manley. There are three main poets of this time. Three main women writers of this time. Then there are also writers like Margaret Cavendish, Anne Killigrew, Felicia Haymans, Anna Laetitia Barbold, Mary Wortley Montague, Lady Mary Wortley, spelling is wrong, Lady Mary Wortley Montague. These are the important poets of this time. Okay, let me ask you a question. Who, which of these poets wrote um, Casa Bianca? Tell me, which of these poets wrote Casa Bianca? It is Felicia Hemans. Felicia Hemans wrote Casa Bianca. Which of these writers wrote um, Town Eclogues? Which of these women poets wrote Town Eclogues? Tomorrow, remember, I will ask you a quiz. You should study and come. Okay, there will be amazing questions that I will make and give you tomorrow. Before that, you should study. Yes, Town Eclogues by Lady Mary Rot uh, Rotley Montague. Wortley, Wortley, not Rotley. Ma Lady Mary Wortley Montague. Yes. Now tell me, uh, there are also other poets. Name one male poet who... Uh, supported some of these women women writers one male poet and writer he was like a leader of the 18th century he supported some of these women who is that it is dr johnson dr johnson all right now who are the romantic poets who came before wordsworth we thought wordsworth is the first romantic poet are there romantic poets who came before wordsworth bolo Yes, of course, the transitional poets. We have William Collins. What did he write? He wrote a lot of odes. William Collins wrote odes on several descriptive and allegorical subjects. Cowper. What are the poems written by Cowper? Cowper wrote The Task, The Castaway. Very important poems they are. James Thompson. James Thompson wrote The Seasons, The Castle of Indolence. What did Thomas Gray write? Oh, he wrote Gray's Elegy, of course, but he wrote lots of other poems. He wrote Pindaric Odes, Horatian Odes, Mock Heroic Poem. Tomorrow I will ask all this. 
William Blake also wrote illuminated poems, prophetic poems. Germans I have written. That means the German romantics are there before Wordsworth. German romantics. Schlegel, Schleiermacher, Schelling. And who are the contemporaries of Wordsworth? Everybody knows. Wordsworth, Coleridge, Sade. After that, Byron, Shelley, Keats, John Clare, Walter Scott. All of them are romantics. I am just giving you a study plan. All these are very major poets. You should know about them. There is enough and more time. I will also ask you questions. Please study. Okay, but because by the time exam comes, you will all be ready. German romantics had a, uh, a journal called the Athenium. German romantics had a journal called the Athenium. There was another Athenium in the Victorian period also. All right. In what ways did the romantic poets engage with the past? Now, is that an essay question? Give me option. Give me points, not options, points. In what ways did the romantic poets engage with the past? Can you tell me? Yes, the romantic poets engaged with medievalism. The romantic poets were influenced by past poets. Many romantic poets were influenced by Milton himself. Did you know that? Many romantic poets were influenced by past poets, including Milton. Many romantic poets engaged with history. Can you name some poem that engaged with history? Ah, uh, let me think. Lord Byron's Prisoner of Shillon. Lord Byron's Prisoner of Shillon is a poem that engages with Swiss history. Can you, um, Can you name, name a poem that uh, deals with medievalism? Can you name a poem that deals with medievalism, orientalism also? Some of you are saying orientalism. Very good. Medievalism, Coleridge, John Keats. Can you name poets who deal with myth? La Belle Dame Sans Mercy. Walter Scott also talked about some myths. Ah, yeah. The Victorians are also romantic poets. Did you know that romanticism is second wave of romanticism? And the, they talked about some myths also. Myth of uh, Isabella from Decameron, for example, Isabella by Keats. Yeah, medievalism and myth connected. All right, very good. So these are important areas which you should study. Can you name 12 Victorian poets? Can you name 12 Victorian poets? Tennyson. Yes, Arthur Hugh Clo, Tennyson's friend. Then husband and wife, the two Brownings. Robert Browning, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, D.G. Rossity, Christina Rossity, uh, A.C. Swinburne. Then Arnold. Arnold and his friend Arthur Hugh Clo. Clo, I put here. Arnold and Clo. Then Oscar Wilde wrote poems. G.M. Hopkins wrote poems. W.B. Yeats wrote poems. Thomas Hardy wrote poems. All these are very, very important poets. You, we should know in detail. There will be questions. When I teach you live, very few people come and attend the class. When I ask you questions, uh, only some people attend. And then don't say that I did not uh, find it easy, exam was difficult. If from now onwards, if you study, you will find exam easy. You should study a lot on your own, read on your own. Promise me you'll do that. Then, can you name 10 20th century British poetry movements? Are, I had to start class at 10, na? Gaurav, I, by mistake, I started at nine. I couldn't remember whether it's nine or 10. I am so sorry. I made a mistake. <laughs> Abhi, when Gaurav asked me, only I remembered. <laughs> I was thinking after three days, I couldn't remember. Is it nine or 10? Oh my God. Well, at that 10, it should be. And I started at nine. We will go on and on till nine, till 10. Okay. What do you say? Can you, tame can you name 10 20th century British poetry movements? 
10 movements. Oh my God. Can you name 10 poetry movements, Bolo? It is a challenge. <laughs> It's a mistake. I was so enthusiastic. I didn't remember whether it's nine or 10. I was making questions and I was enthusiastic. I couldn't wait. So sorry. People must be waiting till 10. <laughs> 10 20th century British poetry, poetry movements. Oxford kaha. There is no Oxford poetry movement, is there? Tell me 10 20th century British poetry movements. 10, 20th century, uh, Georgian poets are there. Who are the Georgian poets? Georgian poets, you know, wrote in a very simple style. Georgian poets wrote in a very simple style. Who are they? Rupert Brooke, Ralph Hodgson, John Maysfield, then John Drinkwater, Georgian poets had anthologies edited by Edward Marsh. Georgian poets' anthologies were edited by Edward Marsh. And then, uh, who are the first World War poets? Can you name first World War poets? Everybody knows. Wilfred Owen, Siegfried Sassoon, again Rupert Brooke. Some of the World War poets attacked war like Wilfred Owen. He did not appreciate war. Some of them praised war like our Rupert Brooke. You're able to remember everything? Very good. Then, who are the modernists? There are Second World War poets also. Okay, Second World War poets, they might ask. Modernists, Bolo, who are the modernist poets? Of course, everybody knows T.S. Eliot, but he is not completely British. He is American. British, James Joyce wrote poetry. D.H. Lawrence wrote poetry. Hena? And also the images, of course. They are Americans. Images. And uh, 30s poets are, images are, tell me the names. Images are WDAs also. Modernist, very good. G.M. Hopkins, also modernist. Images are Ezra Pound, Hilda Doolittle, Amy Lovell. They will ask, okay? Details they will ask. Richard Aldington, T.E. Hume. T.E. Hume, yes. It is not enough to say the names. We should know their uh, works also. Tell me all the works by uh, Ezra Pound. All the major works by Ezra Pound, Ripostas, Cantos, Hugh Selwyn Mobley, In a Station of the Metro. Then, uh, poor Ezra Pound was uh, locked inside a cage by the Americans for supporting Mussolini and fascism. Ezra Pound. And then uh, 30s poets are there. James Joyce also wrote poetry. Very good. 30s poets are there. Who are the 30s poets? Auden group. They are pink poets because they had a trust with communism. They are in the, they used industrial imagery. What is uh, the name that they got for using industrial imagery? They got they were called Pylon poets. Pylon poets, yes. Yes, William Carlos Williams also images, Red Wheelbarrow. 30s poets. Uh, who are they? Max Ponde, Louis Mackney, Cecil Day Lewis, Stephen Spender, W. H. Arden, Christopher Isherwood. That is right. Very good. And then the new apocalypse movement of the 1940s. Dylan Thomas, Vernon Watkins, other new apocalypse movement poets, they will ask, okay? George Barker, have you heard those names? Don't take it easy, everything you should study so that you will pass net with JRF. Everything from today, every day you should study, right? Uh, and also 
you did not tell me the works by W. H. Auden. What are the major works by W. H. Auden? All his major poems tell me. W. H. Auden wrote the Shield of Achilles. The unknown citizen is always prescribed in memory of W. B. Yeats, in memory of Sigmund Freud. Homage to Cleo. Good Friday poems he wrote. Right? And then, uh, what did Dylan Thomas write? Poems written by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gently into the good night. That is not enough. You should read extra. Poem in October. Fernhill. Uh, Under Milkwood. Yeah, the orators by uh, W.H. Arden. Yes. Do you know the movement? Everybody knows the movement, I'm sure. Philip Larkin, then Ted Hughes is not fully part of movement, but slightly associated. Donald Davy, Tom Gunn. After movement, there was a group called The Group. Google search and study the minor poetic movements, they might ask. There is a group called Martian Poets. Who are the Martian poets? Who is the most important Martian poet? It is Craig Rain. Craig Rain wrote Martian poetry. Craig Rain wrote, uh, Martian sends a postcard home. The Kale Yard poets came from which place? The Kale Yard poets came from which place? They are Scottish poets. Kale Yard poets are Scottish poets. Elizabeth Jennings, yes, is a movement poet. How is Elizabeth Jennings different from the other movement poets? How is Elizabeth Jennings different from the other movement poets? Elizabeth Jennings wrote about mental disease, mental disorder. Elizabeth Jennings also talked about Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism, mental disorder, these uh, Tom, uh, Philip Larkin, etc. did not write. They can ask you about Philip Larkin's poetry. They always ask about Philip Larkin. All his major poems you should know. From tomorrow, when I ask you questions on um, poetry, for two, three days, I'll ask you questions on poetry. At that time, you should answer, okay? Will you? Very good. Now, let me ask you some American poetry because you might be bored with British poetry, right? We have been talking about British poetry for so long. What about American poetry? Which woman writer has been considered America's first poet? Which woman writer has been considered America's first poet? Everybody knows. I said considered because there is some dispute regarding this. Sometimes they say she is not the first poet. There is another first poet. Who is that? Tell, her, tell me. It is the author of the 10th muse lately sprung up in America. The 10th muse. She was a Puritan. Yeah. She was a Puritan. There were Puritan poets. It is Anne Bradstreet. Anne Bradstreet. You'll remember, right? That is easy. You know her. Don't you? Yeah. Who is America's first African-American poet? America's first African-American poet. Emily Dickinson is not the first, Kartika. There are so many poets before Emily Dickinson. Edith Wharton is not a poet. Edith Wharton is a novelist, the author of The Age of Innocence. Phyllis Wheatley. Phyllis Wheatley, that is the name of the first African-American woman poet. Okay, I'm just reminding you that you should read in Wikipedia or uh, Encyclopedia Britannica, etc. You should start reading and then go on to read in other books, other materials, but start. Okay, will you promise me? Which popular 19th century poets, it's a group, explored landscape and traditions of America? There were very popular poets in uh, Britain and Europe. Everybody used to recite their poetry. They wrote a lot about the landscapes and traditions of America. 
डू यू नो दे आर द फायर साइड पोएट्स हु आर द फायर साइड पोएट्स बोलो Tell me the names of fireside poets: H. W. Longfellow, then Oliver Wendell Holmes, John Greenleaf Whittier. Are you able to remember? Fireside poets are also called schoolroom poets. Some of them are also called Brahmin poets. Fireside poets, schoolroom poets, Brahmin poets. Among these people who wrote. Uh, thanatopsis 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 is by william cullen bryant william cullen bryant among these writers who wrote the song of hayavada who wrote the song of hayavada it is h w longfellow h w longfellow wrote the song of hayavada also evangeline evangeline that uh, that is another poem by h w longfellow okay remember guys you should remember all this then which popular 19th century group of poets distinguished americans from the british these people said americans have their own culture we don't have to follow the british who is that who is that the po poets who said americans have their own culture they don't need to follow the british you know this group it is the transcendentalists the transcendentalists who are they ralph waldo emerson henry david thoreau and also associated with them are walt whitman contemporary to the transcendentalists are also poets like emily dickinson she is not a transcendentalist which is a contemporary do you know the most famous poem by um emerson based on india everybody knows that it is emerson's brahma emerson's brahma there are uh, in this period many poems that are connected with india many poems connected with india they wrote hamatraya is also by emerson Emerson wrote "Hamatraya," "Hail Maitreya," right? And uh, at this time, there is another poet that is Thoreau. Thoreau was a prose writer. Thoreau also wrote poetry, and uh, they had their own uh, philosophy based on Eastern cultures and Eastern philosophy. isn't it over soul the transparent eyeball very important walt whitman wrote a poem uh, re uh, referring to india what is that poem walt whitman's poem referring to india it is passage to india in walt whitman's passage to india what is walt whitman praising walt whitman is praising the engineering marvels of the world walt whitman in passage to india is praising the engineering marvels of the world will you remember of course these writers also wrote a lot of prose uh emerson wrote self reliance american scholar thoreau wrote the civil disobedience walden all of you know the book written by walt whitman walt whitman's book is leaves of grass did you know guys towards the end of his life walt whitman got a stroke and he was in wheelchair for many years did you know that he was he suffered a lot guys before the exam very close to the exam you have to prepare for the exam but now if you have time before the exam you should know what you you know what you should do you should read about the authors their biography you should read original text that is very important please don't be lazy when it comes to that you should read about the poets okay it's very important transcendentalism transcendentalism were transcendentalism was attacked by some people who are the people who attacked the transcendentalists 
Nathaniel Hawthorne attacked the transcendentalists. Edgar Allan Poe attacked the transcendentalists. What are they called? Nathaniel Hawthorne and Edgar Allan Poe are dark romantics. Nathaniel Hawthorne and Edgar Allan Poe are dark romantics. Okay, very good. Now, uh, which uh, 19th century poet influenced symbolism? Today I started early by mistake. I'm so sorry, but please like the video while you watch me, while you listen to me and you can share with your groups also. Which 19th century poet influenced symbolism? This is a trick question. If I ask you this question in another way, you will answer. Shall I ask in another way? Which 19th century American poet was translated by Charles Baudelaire, the founder of symbolism? Which 19th century American poet was translated by Charles Baudelaire, the founder of symbolism? Now tell me, it is Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe was translated by Charles Baudelaire. Edgar Allan Poe wrote poetry as well as short stories, as well as essays. Henna, Edgar Allan Poe wrote The Raven. The Raven is a very important poem by Edgar Allan Poe. Ulalume, Israfel. They are, they are very important poems. Edgar Allan Poe's poems have an orientalist perspective. Orientalist element is there in Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe wrote collection of short stories, tales of the grotesque and the arabesque. That is the title of Edgar Allan Poe's uh, short stories, tales of the grotesque and the arabesque. Thank you. I love you all too. Even if there is only one person listening to me, I will still teach. I will think if that one person passes, that is awesome. I hope you will follow my suggestion and you will read on your own. Okay. What are the major short stories by Edgar Allan Poe? Major short stories by Edgar Allan Poe? Ha, ah, Telltale Heart. Yes, Annabelle, Lenore. These are also poems by Edgar Allan Poe. The Oval Portrait, Pit and the Pendulum, Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Cask of Amontillado. So many sh short stories by Edgar Allan Poe are important. And of course, The Purloined Letter. Who uh, analyzed The Purloined Letter? There is somebody who analyzed The Purloined Letter. It is Jacques Lacan. Very good. Jacques Lacan analyzed the purloined letter. I am teaching more, for more time than usual because by mistake I started at 9 o'clock thinking it is 10 o'clock. And if there is somebody who is going to join us at, nine, at 10 o'clock, I want to meet them live. So I will go on teaching, teaching, teaching even if you don't want my class. Can you name five post-war poetic movements in America? Can you name five post-war poetic movements in America? Post-war poetic movements. Ah, everybody knows one. Confessional poetry. Sylvia Plath, Robert Lovell. And Sexton, Adrian Rich, John Berryman. Hannah? Any other poetic movement that you know? Beat generation. Beat generation is very, very important. Beat generation. Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, Gary Snyder. Hannah? Very important poets. Then, any other poetic movement I will show you. The list. Confessional poets are there. Beat generation is there. Black Mountain poets. New York poets. San Francisco Renaissance. Will you please take a look? Did you know, guys, even our American new critics, they wrote poetry. American new critics also wrote poetry. Very good. The Beat generation poets wrote 
breadth, length, form, long lines, as long as your breath will hold, which is the most famous poem by Allen Gins uh, Ginsberg. It is the poem, Howl, Howl. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. That is only the beginning of the line. There is still more. Starving, hysterical, naked. That is the full, full line. Can you say it in one breath? Try with me. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked. If we do pranayama, we will be able to recite beat generation poetry. Ha ha. Okay. Can you name five post-war African-American women poets? African-American women poets. Toni Morrison wrote novels, but I think she also wrote poetry. Maya Angelou, very important. Everybody knows. Her autobiographies are famous. I know why the caged bird sings. She also wrote Phenomenal Women, woman, Still I Rise. Anna? Then Nikki Giovanni, Gwendolyn Brooks, they are prescribed in universities. Okay, if you, if you don't know, if you haven't studied, you should read them. In our Encyclopedia of American Literature, I have included them. Second volume is coming out. Rita Dove. She was actually an African-American poet laureate. Okay, African-American uh, 1920s movement was there in poetry. What is the 1920s African-American movement, Bolo? Everybody knows, again, that is easy. Harlem Renaissance. Harlem Renaissance. Who are the major poets of Harlem Renaissance? Harlem Renaissance major poets. Langston Hughes. Claude McKay. Yeah, they were important poets. Langston Hughes is uh, a dream deferred. I too sing America. You know, Walt Whitman said, I sing America. And Langston Hughes says, I too sing America. That is what he said. Very important, isn't it? Very good. Okay. Can you name five most popular American poets? If you name five most popular American poets, who would they be, Bolo? If you are saying the names of five extremely popular American poets, who would they be? Of course, our Robert Frost. Then Sylvia Plath. Then I would say T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot is an American who went and lived in England. And then Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman also very famous. Emily Dickinson. It is subjective. I just put some names. Emily Dickinson, very famous. Emerson also maybe. That famous is he? I don't know. Charles Bukowski is very famous these days. His quotations are there everywhere. Have you seen? Charles Bukowski uh, was uh, associated with our beat generation. In uh, his contemporary, very famous. Ah, are Ted Hughes? No, Ted Hughes is a British poet. British, British poet, isn't it? Okay. You should know a lot about Frost poetry. If they ask something about Frost, you should be able to answer. All these poets you should look up. D.H. Lawrence is not American. Today's video is on American poets. Okay. Very good. I hope you will read their poems for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll ask you questions. Can you name a living poet of America who won the Nobel Prize? That American poet is living right now. Ernest Hemingway is not a poet, Ravi. Can you name a living poet of America who won the Nobel Prize? Abhi bhi zinda hai. Kaun hoga? Are, it is the 2020 Nobel laureate. Or 2022, I think. Oh, yo, I'm, I'm not sure. 2020 or 2022? No, 2020. 
Louis Gluck, 2020, hai na? I make mistakes all the time. You should always correct me, okay? I make mistake even with the time of the class. <laughs> Louis Gluck, because I'm not afraid of mistakes. If there is any mistake, you should tell me in the chat box. Remember, this name became very famous because she, be, uh, she, she won the Nobel Prize. She's a very famous poet these days. We have to read their poetry. All right. Today, in American literature, there are so many kinds of poetry. With the coming of internet and social media, all of you would know spoken poetry, poetry slam, slam poetry, you know, na, in Instagram, and also performance poetry, Benjamin Zephaniah. I have seen him. He came to Trivandrum once, long ago. Uh, Benjamin Zephaniah, he is the uh, associated with performance poetry. All right. Okay. Next Indian poetry. I'm not going to ask you a lot of questions. Just two questions. Okay. But you have to study in detail. Which is the highest poetry award in India? Which is the highest poetry award in India? Is it Sahitya Academy Award? Which is the highest poetry award in India? It is the award first time won by a Malayalam poet. G. Shankara Kurup won it. First time it was won by a Malayalam poet. Do you know? It is Jnanipeed Award. The Jnanipeed Award is the highest poetry award in India. You should look up who are the winners. Who Last time in 2022, Konkani writer won. Konkani poet won. Yes. You should know these award winners because they might ask you, especially the English writers. Okay. Next question. Can you name 10 poets? Only 10 poets have won Sahitya Academy Award in English for poetry. Only 10 poets have won. Can you name them? Can you name all the 10 poets who won Sahitya Academy Award in English for poetry? Tell, tell. Tell, tell the first poet who won Janapita, uh, sorry, Sahitya Academy Award in English is Jayanta Mahapatra. Jayanta Mahapatra. R.K. Narayan is not a poet, Kartika. R.K. Narayan is not a poet. We are talking about poets here. Yes, it is Kamala Das. A.K. Ramanujan. Correct. Hai? Fair. Who wrote Trap Falls in the Nisti Mesekiel? Girish Karnad to poet nahi hai. Girish Karnad is not a poet. Then, Shiv K. Kumar. He wrote Trap Falls in the Sky. Who wrote Keeper of the Dead? That also won the Academy Award. Keeper of the Dead. Keki and Daruwala. Who wrote Serendip? That also won Sahitya Academy Award. Serendip. Who wrote Serendip? It is Dom Morris. Who wrote these errors are correct? These errors are correct. Who wrote when God is a traveler? Shall I show you the list? Are we are talking about English. Harivan Chirai is not an English writer. Partha Saradi Nene. Jita. Tagore did not get Sahitya Academy Award in English. Medikhati Ulist. Jenta Mahapatra. Nisim Esikyal. Keki and Daruwala. Kamla Das. Shivke Kumar. Dom Reis. A.K. Ramanujan. Jeet Tayal. Adil Jussawala Arundhati Subramanyam. Will you remember now? Did you like my question? Arundhati Subramanyam wrote when God is a traveler. Huh? Will you remember? These errors are correct as by G. Tail. Serendip is by Dom Morais. Okay? All right. So we have to study all these poets. They are very, very important. Who among them is a Parsi poet? There are two. Daruwala and Jusavala. There is also Gif Patel. 
KD Katrak. They are also Parsi poets. Okay? All right. Post-colonial poetry, Abhi. Post-colonial poetry. Tanadang, can you name six Nigerian poets? Can you name six Nigerian? Almost ending when uh, 10 p.m. wale come, thinking class will start at 10 p.m. I will say, Bahot sorry, because I started at 9 p.m. by mistake. Wala, wala. Can you name six Nigerian poets? Nigerian. I will tell you, I will tell you one. Chinua Chibe. Then, Chinua Chibe wrote poetry. Vultures. Study all this, okay? When I come tomorrow with questions, you should know all these things. You should read all these poets, okay? Right. Self-studying will make you win. Aha, uh -huh. Ngugi Vatyongo is not Nigerian. He is Kenyan. Vole Soinka is Nigerian. Vole Soinka wrote telephone conversation. Three white hairs. Hana? Right. Then, shall I show you the list? There is the author who wrote a novel, The Voice. The man who wrote a novel called The Voice is a poet. It is Gabriel Okara. Chinvachbi Vole Soinka. Gabriel Okara. Ben Okri also has written poetry. Christopher Okigbo. He died in the Nigerian Civil War or the Biafran War. Okay, Nigerian Civil War or Biafran War. In that, Christopher Okigbo died. John Pepper Clark. John Pe Pepper Becaderemo, like that one pen name he uses. Niger Jamaica is not in Africa. These are African poets. All right, dear friends, next question. Can you name six Australian poets? Australian poets, you know. The very famous Australian poet who wrote Wandering Islands. His first collection is Wandering Islands. Derek Walcott is not Australian or African. He is Caribbean. Can you name Australian poets? The author of Wandering Islands. He wrote a poem called Australia. Ah, that is right. A.D. Hope. There is a woman poet. She is an environmentalist and feminist. Very famous Australian poet. Philip Larkin is British movement poet. Kartiga. It is Judith Wright. Judith Wright is... Who is Judith Wright? Judith Wright is... Australian poet. Any other... Les Murray. Viru has said it. Les Murray. Very good. Les Murray. In this exam, it was asked. One aboriginal Australian poet, they asked. Aboriginal Australian poet, they asked. Okay, Susanna Moody is there. Aboriginal Australian poet, Udguru Nunukal. Her real name is Kath Walker. Remember? This time in net, they asked. They go, Eddie Hope, Judith Wright, A.B. Patterson, who wrote Waltzing Matilda. A.B. Patterson wrote Waltzing Matilda. Chris Wallace Crab. Les Murray, Udguru Nunukal or Kath Walker. Remember all these poets. Okay, very good. Now tell me the names of six Canadian poets. Names of six Canadian poets. Guys, I'm so, those who came late, I'm so sorry. I, by mistake, I started at nine o'clock today. I thought, oh, oh. Nine o'clock is the time. I forgot it is 10 o'clock. Can you believe that? Can you? I was so much engrossed in preparing the PPT and studying. I did not really think when is the class. Sorry, guys. Can you name six Canadian poets? Yes, Margaret Atwood is correct. Then, Margaret Atwood. Then, there is a Sri Lankan poet who wrote Cinnamon Peeler, handwriting, left-handed poems. 
John McRae is there who wrote In Flanders Fields. Yes. Sri Lankan is Michael Ondache. Michael Ondache. May I show you? Charles G. D. Roberts, my dear friends, he is the father of Canadian poetry. So sorry, Shukla Mukherjee. I was so stupid. I started class at nine o'clock. Can you believe that? But I am going on so that ten o'clock people will come. <laughs> Charles G. D. Roberts is the father of Canadian poetry. Montreal poets are there. A. M. Klein, F. R. Scott. E. J. Pratt, Irving Leighton, and Leonard Cohen—they are songwriters. Have you heard Leonard Cohen's famous song "Hallelujah"? That is very famous. Leonard Cohen's song "Hallelujah" is very famous. Then, which are the poems of Atwood? This is a photograph of me. Uh, journey to the interior there is a poem about pioneers who are called pioneers pioneers are the first white settlers in a place she wrote journals of susana moody double persephone power politics you should remember the titles of their collections yes right Uh, Michael Ondaatje wrote a uh, journey to interior uh, atwood Michael Ondaatje wrote left-handed poems handwriting poems then cinnamon peeler right okay can you name six caribbean poets can you name six caribbean poets that you know you were already saying one name what is the name of the caribbean poet that you said Derek Walcott, very good. We already said the name of a Caribbean poet in Harlem Renaissance. What is the name of the Caribbean poet in Harlem Renaissance? It is Claude McKay. Claude McKay. There is also Cyril Dabdeen, Edward Kamau Brathwaite. Edward Kamau Brathwaite wrote History of the Voice. History of the Voice. There is Lorna Goodison. Have you heard Dennis Scott? Or a there is a woman Mahadai Das. Mahadai Das sounds like Indian name, isn't it? She is a woman. She is a lady. She is no more of uh, Indian ancestry, I think, but Caribbean. She passed away. There are so many Caribbean writers of Indian ancestry. We should also study. I will tell you a clue. uh you should also study writers of fiji philippines places like that also they might ask one question like that okay right so i took a long time to, uh, you know teaching you because i was waiting for the 10 pm people to come will you please like the video even though it was boring you should like the video for me will you and i will tomorrow start only at 10 pm okay no more surprise pakka tomorrow 10 pm only i will start fine thank you we will end the session it is the end of the powerpoint i hope you liked it i hope you will read extra and we will work out questions tomorrow will you be ready thank you very much guys good night See you tomorrow.